Everyone goes AFK once in a while when you're just leaving your computer or PC running and you go to do something else and you're away from keyboard. And so that's the command we're going to be creating in today's video. We're going to create a command using a database where you could set your AFK with a reason and whoever pings you after that will actually get notified that this person is AFK because dot dot dot. And then once you come back and type a message, that AFK will be automatically removed from you. So we're going to be using AIO SQLite and Discord.py. This works in all other forks as well. So if you have another fork, just change up some of the imports and you should be fine. Anyways, that's enough for the intro. Hit it. Okay, so here we are in my Visual Studio code. Uh, you can use any coding editor. But what we're going to do is first we're going to import AIO SQLite. So import AIO SQLite. And if you don't have this already installed, you just want to do pip install dash u AIO SQLite and just install it like though and this should actually be a capital u sorry about that but then it'll say requirement already satisfies because i already have it but now it should be installed for you and then we're going to also create a database so here i already have level db and prefixes db which are for my other i guess projects that i've done for other videos you could check them out but over here, if we create a new file, we can just call this one main.db. We don't want to put anything in it. And that's basically what we're going to start off with. And then we're going to create an attribute of bot right here. And it's going to be set a TTR bot db await. And right here, change this to main.db. So you should have this. What this does is it on ready, it'll connect the bot to the actual database or create a connection between it so we don't have to constantly create new and new connections. So then whenever we want to access the database itself, we can just do bot.db. It's really simple. And yeah, if you're in cogs, you want to do self.bot.db. And then we're going to do await or not await, sorry. We're going to do async with and we're going to use bot.db.cursor. And inside here, uh, we're gonna have it as cursor and then we could actually create our table so inside here cursor.execute create table if not exists and we're not gonna create anything levels wise we're just gonna create something called afk inside here we're gonna pass in user which is gonna be an integer and we're just gonna provide provide the user's actual id and then we're going to do guild, which is also an integer, which will be the guild ID and then the reason, which will just be text. <coughs> so now you should have it like that. And then that's it for our on ready, right? We can get rid of everything. We're not going to actually need that again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a command. So we're going to do bot dot command and then do async dev and we're going to call this a okay. So I'm going to pass in CTX colon or asterisk and then reason but we're just going to do if reason equals none so we can actually set this default to none i suppose then what we want to do is we want to do reason equals no reason provided like so and then we're going to actually do async with bot.db.cursor as cursor and open this up. And then inside here, we're going to do await cursor.execute. And we're not actually going to be creating a table, but we're going to actually be grabbing some info from our table. So we're going to do select and do reason. So we want to select this right here. And then from, and then we want to provide our table name. So our table name is AFK. And then we could provide some parameters as well. So we want to do user like so, user equals question mark, and, and guild equals question mark. And then over here, we can pass in the other two parameters as well. So here you could see that we're searching our actual database for reason. And then we're, we're making sure that these two parameters are satisfied. So it has to be from our, whoever created this command and also has to be in the spe specific guild. And then we're going to do just, we're going to call this data 
equals fetch one. And then we're gonna check if data actually exists. And if it does, then we can do if data zero equals equals reason. Now the reason we do this is because data will turn as a list. And so what we want to do is we want to check if whatever our reason is already set to, if it matches up with the reason there. So we can already then if it does, we could do return await ctx.send. Send your already AFK with the same reason. So right there. And then we can just do await cursor to execute. So let's say they're not AFK with the same reason. But the data or data still is, exists. Ex so then what we can do is instead of select, we can do update. And we can just update whatever uh, their DB, right, their row. So we can do update fk set reason equals where guild or where user equals question mark and guild equals question mark. And here we can pass in ctx.author.id and ctx.guild.id. But we also want to pass in reason because that's the first thing we're going to be looking for. So reason like so. So it should be here, reason. And your code should look like this. But then let's say this entire statement turns false. Then we can run our else statement. And I don't know why this ran. But inside here, what we can do is this should help you see a bit better. Await cursor dot execute. And inside here, we want to answer into AFK and we want to insert these three parameters. Make sure these three parameters line up with the other ones up top here. And so they do, and the three values. And then once again, it should line up. So first we put in user, so define user, then the guild, so I define guild, and then lastly, our reason. And so that's exactly what we're doing. And that just sets an AFK. And then lastly, we could just have awaitctx.send and say you are now fk for pass and reason like so and that should be it basically you can make this into an embed if you want make it look better that's up to you but i'm just going to keep it really basic for now so it's easy to understand last thing we want to do is await bot db commit which will actually update our entire database and take all this code that we put in whatever we updated and actually you know update it so now that we have our AFK command, we're going to create an event. And now what this event will be doing is it will be actually doing the, all the checking or the main part of the AFK command. For example, if someone pings you during whilst your AFK, it will let send a message or after you break out of your AFK. So what we can do is add bot to event and then do async dev and this is on message. And so in here, what we can do is, of course, pass in message. And this already autofilled. I'm just going to type this out with you guys. So if message.author.bot, so if the person who's sending the message is a bot, then we just want to return it instantly. We don't want to do anything else. But say they're not a bot, right? They're actual person. Then we can do async with, and we can just open up the cursor or the database. And here we can do some more stuff. I'll say we're just going to copy this, these three lines of code because they're going to be the same for this. All we're going to change up is this. So instead of having a CTX, we're just going to be message like so. And then now that you have that, right? So if somebody exists, right, we can just do is back uh, message.author.mention something like Welcome back from your AFK. Something like that. And so that would just welcome them back, right? And now what we want to do is we also want to delete their data because you don't want them to be back from the AFK, but their data is still lingering around. So we can simply end that by doing await cursor dot execute. And I really can't spell. But inside here, what we're going to do is just do delete from AFK where, and this is just going to be user equals question mark and guild equals question mark. And then here we can pass in 
uh, message.id and message.guild.id like so and it should look something like this so here you can see that when they are back from the rfk we're just going to delete their data but let's say it's like um let's say they're not right they're not back from their afk and somebody actually pinged them then we can do if first then we can check right if the actually if the message contains any mention so if message dot mentions so if there are message mentions in the message then we can just for loop through the mentions right so for mention in message dot mentions and then inside here we can do the same thing that we did here we're going to search each and every person but instead of doing author dot id we can do mention dot id so and this the guild id will still remain the same so now like so and then say you can create something called data too you can name this whatever you want you try and make it name like a bit better than i did this is just for the sake of the tutorial but so we can create this so now if data too so let's say somebody did mention someone has it here we can do if data two and mention.id is not equal to message.author id you could do something like mention.name is currently afk and then we can provide the reason like so and that should be it. Essentially, all we're doing here is, um, last thing I forgot, is await bot.db.commit. Like so. And what we want to do as well is, if we did say return, make sure you have it in this, but over here it's fine, I guess. We also want to do await bot dot process commands and then we want to add in message just so all the commands are still i guess gone through even after this and yeah that's basically it quick other note you will need uh for this to work a message intents because we are accessing message information and what's actually residing inside them and last we're also going to do delete after 10 for this one and same thing for this after 10 so the message will automatically delete after an x amount of seconds and yeah that's it so let's hop in a discord and let's actually check it out so here i am in my discord uh link down below the description please join i'm trying to get to 900 members so yeah that'd be really cool if you could join but now all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run first help and you can see our afk command actually shows up so if i do help afk you'll see our parameter so it takes in reason so now if i do afk and let's say recording to video it would say you are now afk for recording youtube video and it'll actually update our database with that information so now i guess that's how it is right so if i go into any other channel like literally any other channel i was going to general for now here and if i actually put something here it will say welcome back from your afk and there you basically go right so if i go back here and if i type anything else right i'm removed from the actual database so it won't do that i can set myself afk again it will say you are afk for no reason provided i type anything hey guys i'm back there we go and that's how it works so yeah, that's an AFK command in discord.py. I really hope you enjoyed. It's been a fun one to make. And yeah, till next time, glow stick out. See ya.